Okay, so let's say you're developing for Gear VR in Unity 5.4 and you're using some type of input system, in this case the Gaze Input Module from Google Cardboard or Google VR as it's called now. And it works and it works fine normally in the Unity editor and it works for Google VR, but when you build for Gear VR, the input doesn't work or it's way off center. This tutorial is going to show you how to fix that. So here I have a project which is built using the Gaze input module from Google VR. But I've disabled that VR mode and we are building for Gear VR. Okay, so the package is imported, and if I look in the scene, there's a simple demo here. With an auto walk script, uh, but there's no, e, there's no UI event system. And normally to get gaze input, you would add the gaze input module. And move that up above the standalone input module. So now that I have a gaze input module, I need something like a cube to interact with. And uh, it needs to have an event trigger. So I should be able to look at the box. And yes, the dot expands. So it's interactable. Now this works for Google VR if I were to build it now, but if I were to say build for Gear VR, then it doesn't work anymore. You can't look at the box. So this is going to show you how to fix that really quick. If you look at the gaze input module, you it finds these, it, it kind of works like a mouse. So it has to get on a 2D plane, more or less, the center of the screen. And so it tries to do that down here and it says line 142 pointer data dot position equals new vector to hotspot.x times screen width hotspot.y times screen height. And normally that works, but when you build for VR, it doesn't work. So you're going to say pointer data dot position is equal to new vector to. And what we want to get here is VR. And I can see my VR setting, my VR uh, API is not here. So I need to say using Unity Engine. dot VR and what that is is the VR API you can find that here there's VR settings so you'll see the VR settings API here and in VR settings there's there's some stuff but there's eye texture height and eye texture width so those are the ones we want for the X value we want to get the VR settings dot I texture width divided by two so we get the middle and then we want to get the VR settings I texture height for the Y and divide that by two so we get right in the middle and that gives us the middle of the VR screen so common out this line well it doesn't matter but comment this line out this is for Google Cardboard. And if you're using this line right here, this one is for Gear VR or the Unity Virtual Reality Enabled Option. That way, 
you're getting the middle of the VR eye instead of the wrong spot. So when you go into Unity and you press play and you look at the box, it's not going to work. But if we go into build settings, under the player settings, and we turn on virtual reality supported, it's hard to turn the head. It doesn't work, but when you build it to the Gear VR, it does work. So build it to the Gear VR, put the phone in, and next thing you know, it actually works now. All right, I hope that helps you out and solves the problem of not being able to interact with the gaze input module with Gear VR in Unity 5.4 and above. I got to get back to work.